you guys love your hydrangeas and you love the balloons and you love talking about how to make more balloons and make them change color. So here we are again and you guys have been pumping out the questions. And we're gonna dive into some of those questions here right now today because I wanna get to the bottom of this whole hydrangea changing color topic. And I've learned a lot just this morning. I got multiple comments and it forced me to get on Google and start researching. So we got a lot to unpack here. Let's start getting to comments. So the first comment is from K Fitz. Because my soil is a great mix, our hydrangeas are a beautiful purple. Some parts are bluish and some are pinkish, but the majority of the bush is purple. Well, to address this first comment, Thanks, Kay. I think that's really awesome that you've got purple hydrangea flowers because so many people love the purple hydrangea. And so many people want to know, how do I get purple hydrangea? Well, that's a simple one. So in the last video, and I'll put a link in the description, we talked about changing hydrangeas to either pink or blue based on pH, which I learned something else here, and we're going to talk about that in a few minutes. But pink or blue hydrangeas, well, you get purple hydrangeas when they're transitioning between pink or blue. And so you just need to keep the pH within a certain range in order for them to stay purple or fluctuate somewhere in that purple range. And now one thing I know you're wondering is how do I get them to turn deep? That's the weakest crow I've ever heard. That's uh, Henry Jr. out there. The, the one, do you guys want to see him sometime? I, Jeez almighty. The one thing that, where was I? Purple hydrangeas. A lot of people want them really, really dark. And the one thing I just learned was in order to make them, come on, buddy. The, in order to make them really dark, you have to start with a hydrangea that has really vibrant either dark pink or dark blue blooms and when you transition them between either of those colors it'll turn a dark purple now if you want the more lavender color the real light purple color you've got to have the lighter blooming varieties of hydrangea and there's so many different varieties of big leaf hydrangeas that you know you just have to see that is such a weak crow there's such a, a difference in the, all the different varieties. You'd have to find a variety that blooms really deep, dark, either pink or blue, and then transition the color and you'll get that dark, dark purple. Now, the next thing that I learned was from research and online, it didn't come from a comment, and that is, and I'm learning as we go here too, guys, so that is that it isn't just all about the pH when you're turning your hydrangea colors. It is a lot about the pH, but you need two things in combination. It's the aluminum in the soil that will actually turn the hydrangeas. There it goes, Henry. That will actually turn the hydrangeas a uh, deep blue. And the lack of aluminum that will allow them to turn pink. But in order for them to turn a deep blue and absorb that aluminum, the soil pH has to be real low and acidic. So you have to have those two things together. The pH has to be low and you have to have a good amount of aluminum in the soil. In order to turn them pink, you just have to have one thing, crank up the pH, get it up seven or above. I thought that was really interesting. Now the next comment that I got was a really neat comment because it caused me to question my own abilities here, my own knowledge, which like I said, I'm still learning about all this and I had to dig deep and start researching online and I found a really, really cool article that I'm gonna put a link to in the description below and you guys should go there and check it out. And just browse over it and you will learn so much about hydrangeas and their flowers and changing their colors. But this person gave me a specific comment and it's from Dank, Danko 44, there we go. Not all are pH determinant. White, red, oak leaf, panicle aren't. The big leaf hydrangeas tend to be pH sensitive, but not all. It's a little complicated. Well, thank you Danko 44. That, that comment caused me to start digging into things a little bit more. And what I found was that really, there's only one type of hydrangea 
that will change colors. And that's the big leaf hydrangea that we're all so familiar with. The macrophylla hydrangea, macrophylla, mic macrophylla, how are it? Potato, potato. There are multiple different types of hydrangea though. And the two others that we're more familiar with are paniculata and the oak leaf hydrangea. And those two and the others don't change color. It's only the big leaf that change color. I didn't know that before. And so when you're talking about changing hydrangea color, you're only talking about the macrophylla hydrangea. So go check out that link below and you guys are gonna learn a ton about this whole subject. But let's keep moving on with these comments here because this is a lot of fun, guys. So the next comment is about another little technique you can use to turn your hydrangea blue, and it's from Steadied Moon 788 Hi, Milk. I think they meant Mike. Strange thing happened to me this year. Instead of hydrangea feed, I used a rhododendron feed for my pink blooming hydrangea by mistake. And guess what? It turned blue. It was such a fortunate mistake because I absolutely love my new blue hydrangea. I love blue hydrangeas. So here you go. Another easy way of how to change the color of your hydrangea. Best wishes. Thank you, Steadied Moon 788. So now you're talking my language when we start talking about rhododendron. So and that's exactly right. I've, you know, you guys have seen these videos. You've seen that my big thing is rhododendrons and I use a slow release acid loving plant fertilizer. It's just heavy on the acid side, heavy on the nitrogen side, and they've got a lot of iron in them and they're, they're, they're formulated for acid loving plants like rhododendrons and so when you put that on any other plant it's going to tend to acidify the soil more and with hydrangeas it's going to turn them blue so go buy a rhododendron fertilizer rhododendron and azalea fertilizer i think most of them are labeled in the plant stores and throw that on your hydrangea in the early spring and you should get some blue blooms and the final comment that i am excited to answer because <laughs> I knew the answer to this one. I think it's pretty cool. But uh, her name was Danielle Stockdale, and she wrote, but how would you return them to the other colors they started as? Are pink and blue your only choices once you get them home from the nursery? How can you keep them the same color as when you bought them? I ordered some white ones that I haven't received yet, but you're making me nervous that they won't stay white. I'm sorry, Danielle. You've talked about how to turn hydrangeas pink or blue, but have you ever talked about how to prevent it or turn them other colors? Well, I don't want to make you nervous. I don't mean to make you nervous. I'm very sorry for that, but I love this question because uh, I'm going to make your day right now. Danielle, your white hydrangeas that you ordered will always be white. And here's the reason. It's very simple. The white hydrangeas simply lack pigment. They can't be changed any other color. They will always be white to the ends of the earth. So, well, unless you, you know, Darwin is right and, and anyway, they'll always be white in your lifetime. So never fear. Quit worrying about all of it. You're going to have white hydrangeas forever, young lady. So that's it, guys. Those are the comments for today. I hope we've all learned something. I had a lot of fun answering those and getting forced into researching a little bit more and digging deeper into this. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description to that really fabulous article that really digs into it on a scientific level. Some of it gets a little bit deep. If you're interested in that, keep reading, but you can also skim over it and learn quite a bit. So I hope you guys liked this one. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe if you want to follow along to see more fantastic gardening videos. Have an awesome week, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.